I think it's a bit of a mixed bag being raised by a man like my father. When other kids were out playing sports, for instance, I'd be playing make-believe with my dad. So at his bar mitzvah, I gave him his first Dungeon Crafters guide so that he could take over the leadership of the group. What I really wanted was rollerblades. Winning the Queen City Tournament would have been one of the highlights of my life. I don't know why Alistair decided to go and steal the other team's character sheets and stuff them in my backpack and then go off and tell the officials, but he did. Who am I? Hmm. You're the Dungeon Crafter. Merlin and I are worlds apart in terms of dungeon crafting. Merlin might say something like, pass me the pen. I would say something like, pass me the red pen. I am better than everyone else. I will destroy them. I will destroy them. I cast Fireball! <laughs> Kinda hard to measure up against guys who both have five level 100 characters online. I was with Alistair's group for two years. Alistair taught me everything he knows about that game. And I intend to use that knowledge against him. What are you doing? You guys have to get out of here before Crystal sees you. What are you idiots doing here? No, I'm not filming this! Brian isn't going to be attending that silly tournament anymore. Who's the girl? Oh, Germ. Andy, this is Sam, our newest player. The way I see it, I'm your only chance of winning this tournament. Oh, come on! Okay, that's it, I surrender. Ow! Stop it! Thank you, man. I'm the dungeon crafter, and what I say goes. Back talking a dungeon crafter during gameplay is a quick way to lose points during the tournament. Hello? <clears throat> I hope you slip in the shower and die. What did you do to its uh, body after you cut it in half? I wore it around like a funny hat. <laughs> <laughs>